Um, well, I, I guess uh, another question that I would have, and for the viewers out there, if if we have the viewers that want to join grassroots organization uh, that believes in limited government, um, let us know how people can contact you and join up with the causes. I guess start with. Well, the Campaign for Liberty has an online site. Um, if you join the national organization, you also belong to the, the state organization, and actually most of your information will come from the state. Um, you go to campaignforliberty.com and um, just sign up. There's a little, a, a little uh, sign-up area at the, top of the, uh, at the top of the page. You sign up, and uh, you'll be getting an email from me shortly. Okay. And how about for grassroots? If you go to grassrootsne.com, that's the main website, and there are links to all the other structures that we have, uh, Twitter, Facebook, mean those things, and you would be found if you go there. I'll make sure I run home and put a, a set a way to set up so you get an email also. Um, I'm kind of the techno nerd in, in the group, and and always working to keep up as a volunteer, not, you know, professional paid staff, but always working as hard as you can, but uh, just go to that site and there are all kinds of things on there, just like Laura's. And regarding the, uh, the joint effort on watching government, getting information out, people wanting to volunteer for that, we will be putting, I'm sure, on each one of our sites separately, uh, some type of logo with the name and a link because we'll have a, we sort of have kind of a thing under development. People can go and join up with that. So we still have to work all the details out. Here. We're getting early and, and Give Me Liberty TV has gotten that information before anybody else. So. Right? Yeah. Um, and of course, those of you watching, don't forget our website too. It's uh, gmltv.wordpress.com where we'll have archives of our previous shows. Now, I, I guess another thing uh, to, to wrap up here, uh, Shelly, you were a part of a new movie that has been coming out. And if I could here, give you a little bit of a plug. Uh, yes, it started, it's all part of, of really the activism. It, it sprung out of that. I happen to have been networking with a lot of people in many other states one of which was the state of Louisiana, which most people in, in the country probably don't know. Louisiana has a huge uh, film industry because 30% tax credit, as you can imagine. And so investing in film production, and that means television, music videos, and film of all kinds, feature, television, you name it. That it's right off the jump, if you invest you know, a thousand dollars in it, you know, theoretically, it's more like in the hundreds of thousands, you get 30% of your money back. You've already essentially made money. And, and so there, all kinds of things are produced, and, and it just so happens that a group of Tea Party activists in Louisiana wanted to make a healthcare movie. And the director, who was the only professional film person involved with the project, um, he asked me to help with it after I started criticizing essentially a cap and trade video that he had made, saying you have too many smokestacks, etc. I'm, I'm not nice sometimes, but I guess. But he, he liked my criticism, so he asked me to work on it. And I said, you know, I'm not really interested in working on single issue projects. Like, I didn't have enough on my plate already. And I said, I'll, I'll work on something that addresses root causes. And sort of, he didn't really know what he was getting into at the time, um, as far as is what I was thinking, because I had started to realize a year and a half to two years ago that progressivism, progressive is not just a kind of income tax. That the reason why the income tax is called progressive is that it sprung out of the progressive movement. And that a century of progressivism has practically ruined this country and turned it, original intentions on its head, and A New America is, is the film that tries to spell that out to people. And we'd spend a great deal of time actually on the Federal Reserve because it's critical. That year 1913 in so many ways is ground zero 
it, it spells out the history of the movement, what its influences were, and how you can see the goals of that movement being fulfilled right before our eyes. And it's just been released, we're just starting to market it. And I appreciate the opportunity to speak about it. Oh, no problem. Um, because I, I've seen I've seen the movie and I've just gotta say it's it is an excellent movie and there is such a huge amount of information in, in that movie and I think a lot of it is is key to get out to the American people because a lot of this stuff, you know, for whatever reason, you know, blame our education system or whatever, you know, American citizens just don't know. Um, and so, you know, education is, is, is a key goal and this movie has tons of uh, information. So uh, I, I highly recommend it. Um, is there any place online or anything like that that people Thank can go you. to? There actually purchase? is a newamericanmovie.com. And the, what, the new website design, which was, uh, has some elements of the poster that you had just shown, is almost ready to be launched live. <coughs> so very excited. We're just beginning. And all of, some of the interview subjects we've had feedback from um, are interested in helping us promote it, like G. Edward Griffin and um, Representative Ron Paul. And uh, we've heard, uh, and we're trying to get a hold of Judge Napolitano. So <laughs> we're, we're excited <coughs> and we're actually getting that effort. I appreciate that. Great. Well, I guess to wrap up, uh, we have grassrootsne.com, a new America movie dot com and campaignforliberty.com and don't forget gmltv.wordpress.com so I guess with that I'll say thank you Shelly thank you Laura it's been a pleasure to have you guys on it and we hope to have you back on again soon so viewers we'll see you later thanks <laughs>